A few years back, there was a show on HBO that took from the disastrous nuclear accident that took place in 1986. This is because it's one of the most infamous accidents to ever take place on a nuclear scale. It took place at the number 4 reactor in the Chernobyl nuclear power plant near the city of Pripyat in the north of the Ukrainian SSR in the Soviet Union. October 1989, and this is the village of Kupachi in the Ukraine. Although it's more than three years since the accident, what happened was, during a safety test, there were some issues that affected a reactor core, which then led to some terrible explosions that traveled far and wide. There were fewer than 100 deaths during the explosions, but no one quite knows the effects that the explosion had over the next few decades on people. There have also been countless stories that have come out of this place. So today, we're going to bring you 15 creepy stories from Chernobyl that will haunt your dreams. <laughs> The doomed liquidators started. When it comes to tragedies, no one wants to think about the little details that surround them. For example, when there's a house fire, most people don't want to think about whether or not the people in that house had pets. Those little details are heartbreaking on every scale, and it's understandable if you didn't want to think about them. But at the same time, there are instances where you simply can't avoid that heart-wrenching stuff. This is the case when it comes to disaster liquidators. Sometimes there are items that are left behind at one of these sites that have to be liquidated and Chernobyl was no different. What this one is all about has to do with workers who were hired to clean up Chernobyl after the terrible incident that went down. Some people even called them guinea pigs for risking their lives in order to do what they were doing. They were tasked with cleaning things like rooftops, emptying buildings, liquidating anything that didn't belong there. But at the same time, they were risking their health. Staying in Chernobyl is a very dangerous thing. The long-term effects can be completely unknown. But these men risked it all and have been known as the doomed liquidators because who knows what will happen to them years later. By now, if you weren't assimilated with the events surrounding Chernobyl, then you should be a little up to speed on what happened there. Let's just say, it's one of those events in history that we sorely wish that we could erase from the history books. It's one of those parts of history that just leave us with a bad taste in our mouths. But if you think that it was bad for us, then just think about the people who had to live through it. Those who needed to evacuate or even exposed to the deadly radioactivity. Well, as you see from this picture here, it's the man that decided to stay in Chernobyl. It doesn't look like that outcome proved well for him, as he must have died a terrible death. His decomposed body almost makes him look like a turtle. We don't know how exactly this happened to him or why his body shrunk to such a size. But maybe you can shed some light on this. Let us know your thoughts in the comments with the hashtag open discussion to let your voice be heard. The Buried Village Throughout history and many videos on this channel, there have been lost cities. It's hard to fathom that entire cities would go missing, but that's exactly why our world is as crazy as it is. Mother Nature can be a relentless beast and wreck our civilization in ways unimaginable. A lot of the time, these cities get lost due to major events like hurricanes and floods. Other times, it has to, a lot to do with humanity itself and our errors. The locations are known as Zalesai and the Kobachi villages. As you can see in this footage, they've been completely abandoned and left to rot. The conditions are terrible, and no one can live there now. They're perfect for exploring, but for the most part, it's a pretty depressing sight. This is because you can't mistake the fact that the village behind the forest, a nickname for this location, had once been filled with people and daily lives, who were none the wiser to what was about to change their lives forever. Now buildings don't even have floors, doors, or windows, and remain a shell of what they once were. If you didn't know better, you could mistake this town for some sort of a horror movie for sure. We probably won't ever pay a visit to this scary village, but it was definitely interesting to see from afar. Immortality Cult If there's one grim aspect about Chernobyl that stands out from the rest, it's the fact that understanding an event like that one can remind us of our own mortality. There's just a lot of devastation when it comes to Chernobyl. There may have been thousands that died, but the impact of this, even on history, has proven to us that we aren't invincible. One day, we'll all have our number called, and it probably won't be because of something like Chernobyl. At least hopefully not. In any case, there is one cult that looks to beat the Grim Reaper, and they call themselves the Immortality Cult. You heard us right. When it comes to groups, they don't worry about that little thing called mortality. At the very southern tip of Europe on a place called Gavdos Island, 
there's a group of people who decided to relocate to this very remote place and live out eternity. And we mean literally eternity. They don't believe in dying. They believe that the soul lives on long after the body does and for whatever reason, they decided to make this island their home and form what they call the new generation. All we can say to that is, <laughs> good luck. The Wormwood Star Instead of focusing on the devastation that happened to be the events of Chernobyl, you can focus on other things that happened that could be considered positive. Surprisingly enough, not everything needs to be doom and gloom when it comes to this terrible thing. For example, going back to the show Chernobyl on HBO, there was a lot of education in terms of bringing awareness to it for another generation. It's not just like it's been forgotten. Instead, the memories of those victims can live on for as long as they should. That brings us to our next one on our list, the Wormwood Star. This isn't so much a story as it is a monument, but let us explain more about it. It can also be coined as the monument of the third angel located in Ukraine, and it honors the homes and lives lost to the disaster in Chernobyl. It's most beautiful at night when you can see the backlit of the sky. If you look at it closely, you'll see that it's not your typical statue designed in a very unique way. But there's also no mistaking that with just one look at this beautiful piece of art, there's more to it than just being a statue. There's no getting around how painful an event like Chernobyl was. But things like this make you realize that humanity is still doing okay. Alien Helpers With any major event in history, one that changes our history books forever, there comes instances where we hit a bit of a speed bump. We don't mean in terms of slowing things down, but rather we hit something that just seems kind of out there. You can't avoid it though. Every event has its fair share of conspiracy theories from 9-11, Pearl Harbor, you name it. Nothing can just have one side, instead there always seems to be another interaction of the event right around the corner. And today, you probably wouldn't think that the concept of aliens would be anywhere near the word Chernobyl. But of course you'd be wrong because that's exactly what we're about to talk about next. No pun intended, but it's pretty out of this world if you ask us. What we mean by aliens in this one is the fact that outer space helps with changing our tides, which in turn could help us with renewable energy. We're not scientists, so we don't know how all this works exactly, but it could lend a hand to our energy crisis. Speaking of aliens though, some UFO hunters recently came out and said that if aliens did indeed come to Earth, they wouldn't help us with energy or get involved with any wars. So if you were expecting help from above, we're sorry to burst your bubble. Ferris Wheel Remember what we said earlier about trying to keep a positive mindset when it comes to Chernobyl? We know that that can be kind of hard to do with how grim the event was. You can't even look at an event like that and think of something positive. It's the furthest thing away from an amusement park. Just like Aliens and Chernobyl, you probably wouldn't put the concept of a Ferris wheel anywhere near Chernobyl. But of course, you'd be wrong all over again. Well, maybe not entirely. We'll narrow it down for you. Instead of an amusement park, there's actually something relating to a Ferris wheel in Chernobyl. That sentence alone doesn't make a lot of sense, but believe us when we say it, it was a pretty big fixture following the terrible event. The story surrounds the locals of Pripyat back in the day who had been given an amusement park in an attempt to take their minds off of Chernobyl. But it wasn't too much of a stretch, only about a month. The place that's supposed to open in May 1986, but instead opened up in April. We think that was kind of nice of them, actually. The Chernobyl Blackbird Throughout history, fiction had played off of the concept of explosions and their impact on humanity because we all kind of fear such a terrible thing. And to face those fears, we tend to put them in our art to face them. We sometimes use animals as a way to symbolize our fears as well. Take for instance, Batman. That character took his fear of bats and made it an entire identity. For whatever reason, birds have always played a major part in our symbolism in this way, but this time, birds have a creepy part in Chernobyl. They're also saying that there might be something supernatural about these birds as well. You'll just have to take a look and see for yourself. They call it the Chernobyl Blackbird, and in the days leading up to the terrible events of that explosion, workers reported seeing a blackbird, almost like an omen. And it wasn't just any bird. These workers described it as a humanoid with wings and a headless body. We hope that they were delusional, but who knows, maybe there was something far more evil at work when it came to Chernobyl than we all assume. Spooky stuff to say the least. The Elephant's Foot 
We're about midway through our list and by now, you've seen that there's far more to Chernobyl than just an explosion. It's been something that has shaped us not only as a culture, but as a civilization. The outcomes can be spooky, different, and unpredictable. Even to this day, you can't quite predict what you're going to discover when it comes to those events that happened all those decades ago. But guess what? We're far from done and we honestly don't think we can top our last one with this very strange elephant foot. Does this already sound like a strange concept? Or that this one is going to be extra weird? Well, you'd be right, because this thing could actually kill people within minutes. Yeah, it's a frightening concept, but all too real. It's not an actual elephant's foot though, it's just a nickname given to the control room, the actual power plant that caused the Chernobyl disaster. They call it this because it could essentially kill you if you spend enough time down there. Surprisingly enough, since the hit HBO show, there have been a lot more guided tours to the location. Not us though, we'll stay right here, thank you. Old Women of Chernobyl We showed you the man who had decided to not leave Chernobyl, and you saw what happened to him. His fate was downright frightening, something that nightmares are made of. We still don't know what happened to that man's body to make him look like a turtle, and we'll probably never know. But the scary truth of the matter is, he wasn't the only one who decided to stay behind and live out the rest of his days in the toxic land of Chernobyl. You may even find this hard to believe, but there's a whole slew of grandmas who stayed behind in Chernobyl, and have been living in the toxic environment for decades. It takes the term stubborn and really turns it up a notch with this one. What you see here are a bunch of women who survived the Chernobyl disaster and found a way to resettle in this small village. Just looking at them, you would never guess what they had been through, given how chipper and carefree they look. They have their own backyards that grow fruit and everything in between. It also doesn't seem like the radiation got them in any way. So, if you take anything from these women, it's that they are great survivors from a disaster. It's radioactive bears it's really mind-blowing to think just how many people stayed behind in a place like Chernobyl. You would think that their radioactivity would have scared anyone in their right mind away for good. Anyone with common sense wouldn't want to stay in a land that could potentially kill you. But what about the non-humans? We mentioned birds already, but like any location, humans weren't the only ones to inhabit Chernobyl. There were plenty of animals that lived in the environment, and unlike stubborn humans, they didn't really have a choice when everything went down. Instead, they were unfortunately clueless. That brings us to the next one on our list here, where we unfortunately have to show you some radioactive bears. This is probably the closest we're ever going to get to superhero bears in comic books. The story here is that the brown bears have finally returned to Chernobyl after a century of being away. It's a pretty unprecedented situation given the fact that they've been gone for so long. And of course, there's the whole radioactivity in the air situation. Scientists believe that all animals react to this atmosphere in different ways, so maybe it won't be as harmful as it seems to them. Only time will tell. Wolf Dogs We don't blame you if you get a bit down thinking about Chernobyl, especially learning about the radioactive bears who didn't have a chance when it came to their terrible exposure to the events of Chernobyl. The saddest thing about tragedies like this, one, is that there are always victims. Sometimes the victims are humans while other times they are animals. But radioactive bears weren't the only animals from the animal kingdom that were affected by these events. No, there were actually breeds of dogs and wolves that were also affected. Well, maybe we should be a bit more specific when we talk about this, because we actually have to tell you about something known as wolf dogs. And yes, they're as scary as they sound. This story details the Chernobyl Wildlife Preserve, which is now showing that the wolf population is increasing. Gray wolves, to be exact. It's almost like how the bears are coming back to check things out. It seems as though people may have left Chernobyl for good, but the animals, they want to have a party. And as long as they're not getting hurt, we're all for that. Secret Soviet Radar Now that we've gotten past all the historical stuff, animals and sad outcomes that happen to people, we should take a moment to shine a light on some other aspects of Chernobyl that may not need to go into the HBO show they made, but rather a full-blown movie, because the Soviet Union has a part in some things surrounding Chernobyl. But these things sound more like they belong right in a James Bond movie. They have to do with radars, woodpeckers, and a whole lot of intelligence that we don't quite understand. But we here at the channel never shy away from the mysterious or a challenge, so let's see what this one is all about and try to tackle it together. Because who doesn't love a little bit of mystery? 
At first started out as a weird and loud noise from July 1976 to December 1989 that occurred on shortwave radios all around the world. For a long while, no one knew what the noise was until it was revealed as the Russian woodpecker. This was an over-the-horizon radar, aka a Duga radar. This was used by the Russians as a warning signal for incoming missiles. So unfortunately, this mystery wasn't aliens trying to contact us, and it was a more simplistic answer. But hey, at least we solved the mystery. The Abandoned Church Sometimes when it comes to disasters, you have remnants left behind. This is usually the case with these terrible situations. Take for example 9-11, where they were able to create an entire museum from the rubble of that terrible day. There was also the day that happened in Pompeii when a volcano wiped out an entire village. Today, you can still see the bodies preserved in ash in what people consider a horrifying yet educational sight. The things that get left behind are like living history books, where you take a look back and just see what happened in the extreme detail. One aspect of Chernobyl that's been found was an abandoned church. It's definitely an eerie sight to say the least, but let's take a look anyway. 30 years after the Chernobyl disaster took place, we're finally getting a look inside this church, which sat right in the vicinity of the impact. They're not as eerie as some other images that have come out of Chernobyl as of late, but they're still a bit sinister when you know the backstory. What's really sinister is the fact that this church is in a pretty pristine condition. Some might see that as a pretty holy sign from above in a place that's been filled with nothing but horrible memories. Others might chime in and say that because the church hasn't been used for so long, of course it's in pristine condition. Either way, it's pretty cool to see something in Chernobyl that isn't a total mess. We wonder if there are any other buildings like it in the impact zone. Shadows on the Walls 3700 we hope that the abandoned church portion of our list didn't spook you out too much, as the sight of such a place could have you feeling a little uneasy. And this is because we're not used to seeing buildings that we're familiar with dilapidated. We're used to seeing churches in a somewhat positive light, one that sees plenty of people in attendance on a weekly basis, not collecting dust or falling to pieces. And then you top that off with the fact that this church falls under the history of Chernobyl, and you have a pretty grim mix of things. And unfortunately, we're not stopping with just an abandoned church. We move on to some shadows on the walls. Let us explain. This next one documents photos taken by a photographer named Jan Smith. Some of these photos are considered eerie by some, and this is because they show a haunting nature to the city. She mainly takes photos of the graffiti around the city, and it just shows how desolate and lifeless the place is without people living there. But Jan tends to side with those who consider it beautiful and she claims that architecture is some of the best in the world. She does admit that it's a lonely and empty city, and after all, who could really argue that? In any case, at least there's a different perspective out there from all the doom and gloom that Chernobyl usually receive. Killer Claw 3800 We finally reached number one on our list, and we've been through some pretty terrible things thus far. We would have never expected Chernobyl to bring such darkness. Okay, maybe we did expect that a little bit but definitely not to the extent that we saw today. It's been quite the journey learning about this tragedy, but we're not done yet. We end this list with something just as sinister, a killer claw. What are we talking about? Well, just take a look for yourself. What we're talking about here is the fact that despite Chernobyl being a town that has remained desolate for quite some time, there appears to still be art installations popping up all over. And to many, this has been a creepy thing because take a look at the claw of death. We don't exactly know whether we can really call this art or something else, but what we do know is that it brings a different life to Chernobyl altogether. You don't tend to put art next to a place like that when you think about it, but there's a first for everything, we guess. What do you think about the claw of death? Let us know in the comments below. And there you have it. Chernobyl hasn't only given us a lot of history, but it's given us a whole lot of different stories and details. We don't know what else is going to come from such a place that has so much darkness associated with it. But we do know one thing, there will probably be more stories to come. And when they do, we'll be right here to bring them to you. 